Hi, everyone. Thank you for joining us today for this webinar dedicated to multi-channel transactional communities. Oh. Let's start again. Um, Hi, everyone. Thank you for joining us today for this webinar dedicated to multi-channel transactional communications. Let us start with a few introductions. My name is Irmina, and I oversee product marketing here at Mo Engage. I'm joined today by my colleagues, Vasco, who's our VP of Strategy, and Hasto, who's our Regional VP of Sales in North America. Today, we plan to give you an overview of the main challenges product leaders face with transactional strategies, as well as offer some solutions and their implications in use cases across industries. We'll also show you how to easily execute, manage, and scale these transactional strategies to drive your campaigns and enhance customer experience. Before we get into the overview of transactional communications, we want to give you a quick background to MoEngage for those of you who are not familiar with our solution. MoEngage is an international inside-led customer engagement platform with offices across five continents and 15 countries. We help product owners and marketeers scale their mobile and customer engagement strategies with our AI capabilities that allow them to get deeper customer insights and make more informed decisions that drive their business results. With our solutions, brand can easily create multi-channel experiences across their customer lifecycle from onboarding and engagement to growth and optimization. We are also a technology partner for over 1,200 customers across the globe with key leading industries such as e-commerce, finance, and telecom, where we successfully partners with brands such as Nestle, Unilever, Ally Bank, or T-Mobile. We continue to foster client and partner trust with an increasing portfolio of industry recognition such as Gartner Forster and G2, among others. At MoEngage, we understand the complexities of customer engagement strategies and why it's important to include transactional communications. We all know that nowadays, customers are engaging with brands across multiple touch points, both online and offline throughout the customer journey. As organizations grow, their multi-channel messaging needs become even more complex. Having fragmented data and lack of execution capabilities for your transactional campaigns affects customer experience and leads to missed business opportunities. At certain touch points in the customer experience, brands need to share marketing promotional messages along critical transactional notifications and alert with their customers. We also see among our clients that often different teams from marketing to product to engineering are responsible for various types of communications, notifications, and channels adding to the complexity. When you layer in personalization of these messages, that becomes even more challenging to manage, and brands often look into customer engagement platforms such as MoEngage to help them orchestrate the communications. Now that we understand the complexity of combining promotion, promotional and transactional communications, uh, let's have a look at examples of transactional messages. At their core, transactional communications are automated messages that get triggered by an action that your customers take with your brand's website or an app. Generally, these messages include necessary or high-priority info, such as receipt, delivery details, updates, or order confirmations. What is important to remember is that in many cases, failing to send these messages can create challenges, miss business opportunities, and a fragmented customer experience. Transactional messages are very simple and straightforward. However, the way the brands send these messages is often quite complicated. The number of channels and customer touch points have exploded in the last couple of decades. As organizations grow, the messaging needs become more complex, 
with multiple channels requiring a dedicated team to maintain and update, not just build. The influ this influences the complexity of creating and managing transactional campaigns, as well as the cost of campaigns, engineering resources, not to mention the lack of visibility into campaigns performance and fragmented user experience. So let me pass it over to Hasu, who will give you an overview of the transactional communications landscape and explain how these challenges impact your strategies and customer experience. All right, thank you, Armina. And looking at what customers expect from the brands that they interact with today is that omni-channel experience. And the omni-channel experience, at least in a customer's mind, isn't limited to promotional or marketing messages. It extends to the transactional communications that they receive from you as well. Because for that end customer, it's not just about uh, which team at the brand is sending me the message. Any communication coming from a brand uh, is representative of your brand and uh, the kind of value that you're delivering to me. And that's where today we've seen that that being omni-channel with your transactional communications means that you're managing several different vendors uh, for each channel. You have a different vendor for email, different one for SMS, push notifications, WhatsApp, etc. And for each of these vendors, you're managing different contracts, you're managing different APIs, and quite often you've got different teams trying to ensure that all of these work is expected. And that's a challenge that we're trying to solve for, and that is something that we're changing here through Inform. With Inform, you're able to manage all of your transactional communications across any channel that your customers might expect uh, to receive a message on through one single API. Now, what that means for you and your brand is that you're able to easily orchestrate all of these transactional messages in real time, we ensure uh, a sub five second SLA to send a message out because let's face it, nobody wants to wait for more than five seconds to get any transactional communication, especially an OTP. And we are able to make sure that as a brand and as product managers and uh, life cycle marketers, you have only one single API call that you need to make to deliver these messages across different channels. And what that means for you and what that means for your customers is a very personalized customer experience that is not just limited to the promotional messages that they receive, but it extends to any communication, including transactional communication. What it means for you also is centralized visibility of all the messages that you've sent a user and be able to not just look at the uh, promotional messages you've sent them, but also the kind of transactional communications they receive from you and how those transactional communications have performed. It gives you more autonomy to change content, manage templates, and ensure faster delivery of your alerts, a significantly reduced um, effort in engineering because you're not managing four or five different API calls and vendors anymore, but just the one. And of course, that's far improved effectiveness and better data security because you don't have your data and your customer's data sitting in four or five different places, uh, but just the one that's managing all of these communications for you as well as reporting for you. So what happens to, to John and John's experience with your brand now is that they receive these personalized promotional messages and offers and experiences, but now they also have of very personalized uh, transactional communication that's in line with their experience with the rest of your brand. And it doesn't feel like it's somebody else sending them this transactional communication. So you're reaching out and sending these transactional communications at the right time and through the right channel. And of course, uh, for you, it's reduced engineering resources. Uh, you are able to manage and connect with over 30 different uh, service providers, including the likes of Twilio, SendGrid, Singe, WhatsApp, et cetera. Uh, if you already have uh, downstream providers and delivery vendors, we are able to plug them in to MoEngage so you don't have to scrap all of your contracts, but you can make the best of the efficiencies that MoEngage brings while continuing to use your existing downstream vendors. 
Uh, but the value that you'd see here is the ability to easily personalize all of these messages, to maintain your communication templates, edit them and update them as your brand changes and updates, and ensure that your lifecycle communications themes are always on hand to make sure that that end user experience, promotional or transactional, is always always the same and always seamless. And with this, what you're also able to do is get smarter with it, get more intelligent with uh, how you're delivering these transactional communications and start prioritizing communications based on the preferred channel of your customers. So if somebody prefers to get their account confirmation emails on WhatsApp, they're going to get it there. If somebody prefers SMS, that's where they get it, or email, ensuring that you don't have to send out uh, the same message across every single channel, but only on the channel that they most prefer. And with that, of course, we make sure that you're covered with our fallback mechanisms. So if the preferred channel for me being SMS is undeliverable for whatever reason, we fall back and ensure that the email is delivered on time. Now, even with email, let's say for some reason, one of the email delivery vendors that, you, that we're working with is down, we do have the ability to fall back downstream vendors. So it's not just about making sure that we try to send a message, but it's also about making sure that we deliver that message uh, at the right time to your consumers. And equally important is being able to keep a tab on everything that's happening, debug in real time, how long it took to send a message out. Um, if a message failed from a particular channel to give you that visibility of why, so you, you do have the real time reporting to identify delivery failures, uh, identify why a particular message might not have gone out, and also the ability to set up alerts if those failures cross a certain threshold. So unifying all of your transactional communication statistics into one single dashboard and uh, not only transactional, promotional as well. And you're able to set channel priority as well, right? It's all about that end user experience. It's all about making sure that I always get communications on the channel that I most prefer. But what that also means for you is cost saving. What that also means for you is if I prefer um, emails for my transactional communications, you don't send me that very expensive SMS unless that email channel fails. So it allows you to optimize costs, very important in 2023, of course. And it also ensures that uh, your customer's experience is never broken and it's it's always what they expect from you and your brand. And hey, on that you, note, you. I'd like to yeah, <laughs> over to you, Rasco. Tell us a little bit about these use cases. Yeah, so all of this great technology that we have put together um, is about solving specific uh, business problems and problems that you know your customers are going to be facing. Um, you know, one of the the first thing that comes to my mind that I am constantly have to deal with is um, security, uh, fraud alerts, um, travel notifications. What's happening with my bank, with my apps for sending money to my kids? making payments and so on and so on. Um, and, you know, anybody that has uh, mobile apps for payments, e-wallets and, and so on and so on has to deal with this all the time. Now, uh, my one of my banks that I don't use much, even though I've been with them for over 30 years, sometimes they send me notifications five, six hours later after a transaction happens. And they usually send this only via email. Um, that's completely unacceptable. Um, we live in a real world uh, where real time transactions, real time news is the norm. And so, with more engaging form, um, this is why we we try to keep notifications sent under five seconds, and in reality, under two seconds many times. Uh, this is why this is all important. Is somebody trying to log into your account? Is a transaction happening on your account? Whether this is withdrawal or whether uh, you got um, 
some kind of a deposit being done to your account, wire being done, uh, and so on and so on. And it's sometimes when you do a transaction for sending money, it's that the money is being drafted from one account, uh, put into another account, and then sent to a third account. So all of this kind of notifications in real time are very, very important. Um, is somebody, you know, withdrawing money on your ATM account or your digital account? Uh, these are things that are affecting you or affecting your customers. Um, and if you can prevent additional fraud, if you can prevent any kind of fraud, because somebody's trying to do login into account and then you get a notification, this is very, very important. Um, next slide, maybe. Here, let's talk a little bit about OTP, which is kind of related, right? You know, one-time um, passwords. Um, this is, again, uh, a part of everyday life. And uh, having one vendor to help you with all these kind of transactions uh, whether, again, they're on WhatsApp, whether they're SMS, whether they're in email, is are very, very crucial in this world. Whether this is e-commerce confirmation delivery, uh, e-commerce um, order uh, confirmation, um, they are something that we expect. Um, and I want to know when somebody has delivered a package in front of my front door. Many times the guys from, you know, Amazon and uh, FedEx and UPS, they don't come and ring the door, but they leave the package. And if you wait too long, somebody may come and take your package. So getting an, a real-time notification that, hey, that package was just delivered or this package will be delivered in the next few minutes is crucial in today's world. Um, and uh, this use case is being used more and more by everybody else. Uh, or, you know, if you're trying to get food pickup, uh, hey, I'm over here, you know, where your order is ready for pickup and so on and so on. Mm -hmm. So um, OTP for retail, e-commerce, and everything else is very, very uh, important in this world. Um, another uh, example which we'll have to deal with is if you're using in a media entertainment ott uh like streaming uh, vendors um i want to get a notification if somebody's using my account maybe i was there bnb and i forgot logged in uh into my uh you know uh netflix account uh, someone else uh i want maybe i want to go and uh, log out of there as soon as i can um, or, you know, a subscription and somebody ordered a movie. Did you, did, did that order go through? Uh, and, and, and things of that nature. Uh, I've, I've added new subscription channels to my accounts and so on and so on. All that type of use cases are very relevant for many of us. Um, and we want to make sure that you know, uh, you think about this uh, in real time notification again, whether they're SMS, whether they're WhatsApp, whether they're email, are important. And later on, we can even look at that. Maybe even if we don't look at them right away, but I can see, oh, this happened exactly at 1:30 in the afternoon. Uh, it's a record of what is going on, and you can call customer service and say, hey. This happened over here. Uh, make sure that, you know, uh, this was a, you know, I flag it as a problem uh, and you send me the message, go and fix it and so on and so on. So uh, hopefully our presentation today, guys, give you a little bit of uh, insight as to how you can use Moengage in form uh, for your applications. And um, I think, uh, Irmina, I think we have some kind of a special offer or something. And I'll leave that uh, for you and ask that you discuss. Thank you. We do have a special offer. I mean, we, we love making life easier and better for uh, all of our marketers and product managers. So uh, we'd love to offer anybody uh, that's keen on testing Inform out three months at, at no cost. So just scan the QR code 
right there. Uh, hop onto the website, sign up. Uh, one of our growth experts will get in touch with you, help you get on board and uh, give you three months access to the platform at, at no cost. And that is about it from us. Thank you, everybody, for, for joining. We, we appreciate the time. And uh, if you have any questions, uh, just feel free to reach out to us and we'd, we'd be more than happy to help. Thank you.